welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Rafiat. i'm a little tommy's chef i develop healthy recipe for lady tommy's so today i want to make date paste if you have been making date paste that lasts just three days in your pantry or in your fridge this is the time to throw away that recipe <laughs> and follow this step of mine and i know you are going to enjoy it because this particular this paste will last more than a month in your fridge and also will like like three weeks on your counter so this is the recipe for you and date paste is very good for babies from six months old upward it's good for constipation it's good to add to their cereals it's good to add to their food i use this date recipe date paste in anything i'm baking so let's get started with the ingredients so i'm going to use date you can use soft date you can also use add date any date you have you can use it what you're going to do is to remove the seed from your date and you can cut this into a smaller pieces if you don't have blender to use to blend this with dates at the end of the day at the end of the cooking so i'm also going to use salt salt is one of the preservatives i'm going to use in this recipe but if you are using making this for a baby six month old baby don't use salt so i'm also going to use water this is one cup of water and one cup of water for one and a half kilo of date if you check the description box i will leave all the ingredients in the list in the description box and the quantity i use so here i'm going to use lemon and let's get started so i'm going to add my salt into my date remember don't use salt if you are making this for a six month old baby so also i'm going to use half cup of water so i'm going to add this water two times because we don't need much water in this date paste water is what make dates go bad easily so we don't really need water in this recipe but we need a little bit of it to cook the dates so i added my on my lemon and that is a table a table and a half spoon of lemon we are not going to use a, a lot of lemon juice so i'll just turn on my heat on low a very low heat you don't want to use high heat because you don't want to lose the nutrients in this date you still want to retain the nutrients in the date so we are going to cook it on a very low heat we are going to cook it slowly so as you can see the first water is drained and i'm going to add the remaining half cup of water and i'll give it a mix make sure you are mixing you make sure you are mixing it continuously okay that is it that's the word so mix it <laughs> mix it continuously so that you get you you let all the water to incorporate you let the water incorporate so if you look at the bottom of this date you will see that there's no water at the bottom of the date that is what we want the water is not there we don't want water in this so it will keep cooking because it's soft already and we don't need to add any more water to it so i will let it keep cooking until it gets very very soft so as you can see it's very very soft now if you cut this date into smaller pieces before you start cooking you will not need to blend your date because it's going to turn into paste itself but if you don't cut it like the way i make it that means you are going to use blender to blend it as you can see the date is very soft and sticky what you don't need in this date is water please get that right you don't need water don't say this thing is burning no i have to add water no look at the bottom of this pot you will see that it's very very dry that is the quantity of water you need for this date paste the quantity i use is the quantity of water you need in your date paste water is what make your date paste go bad easily so now the date is soft if you don't have a blender at this stage you can just use a matcha or a fork to match your date paste or just throw it inside the blender or food processor and blend or use hand blender like this just use your hand blender to blend it and you get your date paste but if you cut it into smaller pieces you will not need to do any of that you will get your date paste through cooking 
so this is my date space my date space is ready if you have not subscribed to this channel consider subscribing now subscribe to this channel i have a lot of content for you try to subscribe to my channel please i'm expecting your subscription try to subscribe to my channel and if you watch to this day that means you like this recipe so don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that all other people can see this recipe also don't forget to consider subscribing you know? so this is my date paste you can use date paste for baking if you follow my recipes you will see that i use date paste a lot you can use it for baking i use it in gari i use it in our cereal i use it for oats i use it for muffin i use it for cake oh the list goes on and on <laughs> so this is my date paste let me know if you try this date paste so until we see in another one try to stay safe and